Did I change my name? The answer is Hey everyone, and welcome back to The Fortitude Fix. I hope you're well. My name is Deshauna, and if you are new here, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you never miss an upload from me. I would love to have you as a part of the fam. And if you are already subscribed and you're returning here for another video, it is so good to see you. So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about whether or not I changed my name and the reasons behind that. If you are interested in hearing what I have to say, go ahead and keep watching. One thing I want to point out is that my husband never ever pushed the subject. Like if I brought it up, he would talk about it, he would listen to me. But when I was engaged, one of the most common questions that I got was, am I going to change my name? What am I going to do with my name? Am I going to take his name? Am I going to drop my name? What's going on? And at the time, I really didn't know. Did I change my name? The answer is yes, sort of. <laughs> so I didn't necessarily change my name, but I did add his name on to my name. All of my names. I kept every single last one of my names. And what I mean by that, I was born and I was given a first name, a middle name, as well as a last name. And so I am choosing to hyphenate my last name with my husband's. And so I want to talk about why that is. So my first name, Deshauna, is one that's very uncommon. It's pretty unique, but it is very special as it was given to me by my brother. So if you are new here, this is probably going to be new information to you, but I will leave a link right over here to all the other videos, the get to know me's and my seven days of fortitude that will share with you a little bit more about my story. A quick rundown, my brother passed away on my 13th birthday. He and I were 11 years apart. And so when I was born, he came up with my name and I love it. When I heard that story, it made my brother and I's connection even more strong. And when he passed away, it just meant so much to me that he left behind his amazing imagination in the creation of my name. Secondly, my middle name. My middle name is Yvonne, and Yvonne is a name that was given to me because it is the name of my biological mother. My bio mom passed away when I was 18 months old. Having her first name be my middle name meant the world to me. So I really didn't want to get rid of that either. Lastly, my last name. My last name is very important to me because my grandfather passed away when my dad was a teenager. My dad never had any sons, and so the name would essentially end with my dad. For me, that is something that I'm not exactly settled with having happen. So I wanted to keep my last name as remembrance to my grandfather. And I added on my husband's last name in hyphenated form. Yes, I have a very long name, but it is who I am. It is every single piece of me. It is what makes me special. And there is just no way that I can get rid of either of those names. My husband is completely on board. He loves the idea that I'm taking on his name and that I am hyphenating it because again, this is who I am and he is an added part to who I am at this point in my life and I wanted to honor myself, my family, as well as him and our family together. Now, there are many different ways that you can go about this. You can completely change your last name by dropping off the one that you currently have. You can also move your last name to your middle name and then take on your partner's last name. Or you can do something similar to what I did and hyphenate your names. So whatever it is that you decide, just please do remember it is your decision. If your partner has very strong ideas on the issue, go ahead and talk those things out before the time comes for you to sign paperwork and make final decisions. I will leave you with this story. When we went to get our marriage license, I had no idea that that was the moment in time that I would need to write down what my name would be after being married. I thought that we would just show up, fill out some paperwork as to who we are, give the mother's maiden name and all that good info, and we'd walk away with our marriage license. However, they wanna know what your name will be. <laughs> 
even after marriage so that you can take that document to go change your name or do whatever you need to do after the fact. Now, I don't know, but I had no clue that that's the day that I was supposed to make this decision. Our number is called, we go up, we present the paperwork, we're so cute, we're holding hands, and then the lady was like, so what's your name <laughs> gonna be? What, what's your name? You have, to, you have to put it here on this line. And I, I was like, she hands me a pen. And I was like, I, I have to do this now? And she's like, yeah. And so I start writing and I stop and my husband looks over and he just, he just knows automatically. He's like, ma'am, he's like, can we take a second? Can she come back? Can we just come back and when we figure this out? And she's like, yeah, I'll be here, no problem. When you're ready, just come back to us. <laughs> Luckily, there wasn't a ton of people there. I kind of went and sat and I was writing down random names and what my name would look like, hyphenated, what it would look like with my middle name. I have no idea why I didn't do this before, but I figured it out. I was happy, my husband was happy. We got back in line and saw the, the lady and finished our paperwork and it was awesome. But just know that you have the ability to have those conversations with your partner and it's very important that both of your feelings are taken into account. Had my husband had very strong feelings, there may have been a different outcome um, or there may not have been. I know that sometimes there are even husbands or partners who take on their partner's last name as opposed to the other way around. Whatever it is that you decide, it is okay. You are amazing and you will get through this very weird kind of interesting time in your life when you're figuring out what to do with your last name. With that said, thank you so much for joining me for this video. That's all I have for today. Be back next week. I post videos here every week and I look forward to seeing you. Remember to follow me on Instagram at The Fortitude Fix and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I am super excited to really document my journey as a wife and what is going on in this life that I have right now. Life after grad school, life working full time and being a wife. This is a whole new ball game and I am so excited to share it with you. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you right back here next time and remember to always fill your cup.